Now, my old 85 Caprice that uh, has been giving me continuous exhaust problems. And I couldn't figure out why. Um, turns out, unfortunately, the uh, timing chain has skipped a notch. And uh, it runs like shit. So it is parked. I haven't cancelled the insurance on it yet, but I didn't. It's a good time that it happened now because uh, I don't plan on winter driving it anyway. I don't want to wreck it anymore with road salt and whatever else, so I've decided this car is only going to be a summer car, just like the Buick. So this old girl is parked. I still got to clean it. Still chocolate milk cartons in it. Also, the, I have a, when I first bought this car, it has it has worn camshaft lobes. The camshaft is totally done. Like most of the lobes are just rounded right off into a circle. So, um, when I when I first bought the car, I knew that they were, the camshaft was done, but. The car still ran good enough, but now it's just, it doesn't run right at all. It burns an excessive amount of fuel, like uh, I filled up this tank uh, two weeks ago, and I put 300 clicks on the odometer, and it's empty. Uh, usually I get a roughly 700 clicks to a tank with this car. And the carburetor is excessively worn. Um, I adjusted the choke on it, and I had it set perfectly, so I didn't have to pump the crap out of it just to get it to stay running. But now it, I have to pump it constantly while it's running just to keep it from stalling out. Foots off the accelerator. running on high idle. Huh. It's going to call me a liar. It's not going to stall. reason it's actually running better today than it did last week. Another thing too that I'm parking it, tires are such a worn now. It wouldn't be any good in the snow anyway. And she's got a very bad, um, it's idling so rough that the car is just bouncing all over the place. Uh, especially when you have it in, in gear and you're sitting at a traffic light or something, it's just, your head is bouncing.
for some reason it's actually running better today. I did uh, readjust the ignition timing. It was off two degrees and this car is supposed to be set for four degrees before it's hot dead center. Um, it was off so I, I adjusted the timing but it still didn't it still didn't run any better. Wish I could see where the fuck I was going. That's the exhaust. Countless exhaust problems with this car. Like But yeah, this old girl is parked. It, uh, in the spring, it'll be getting a fresh paint job. The choke would go off, then I could show you exactly how bad it's idling. How rough it is. Maybe it's already off. See, the carburetor so badly. Okay, I think the choke's off. See, I have it halfway down to the floor and let's do it. And and it and it backfired through the carburetor, you get that puck and and it just instantly dies. Sometimes it won't instantly die once you hear that, but nine times out of ten it'll backfire through the carb like um, I was told that even the valves might not there might be a valve that's not opening and closing um, but this thing this thing needs a valve job plenty of power when you're in park And it sounds quite healthy, but once it's once it's under load, like I'm right there, it sounds not bad. But you push down farther on the accelerator, and it starts to buck and chuck. Right there, it sounds nice. You can hear the valves knocking. It doesn't seem to be idling as bad now. Listen to that. But yeah, that's what this that's what this thing is about anyway. Car needs uh, the car needs uh, fresh paint anyway, so I wanted to I wanted to do some body work to it. So this thing is parked.
couple of suggestions that uh, some buddies have made to me were uh, to um, swap out for a 350. Now, originality is a big thing for me. This car came with a 305. I'd rather have a 305. Um, it's just the way I am. Like, I know I'll have a lot more horsepower and torque. But, 305 is a torque monster. Like, I've laid rubber with this thing that most people can't do. That's why the tires are all done, because I rotated them and smoked them off and then rotate them again. And This tire here, the valve stem is leaking, actually. Or maybe not. Well, it sounds like it's coming from somewhere here. But you can hear, uh, you can hear that the tire is going flat. Not much tread on it either anymore. Here I'll show you um, from underneath the engine compartment. In the engine compartment, the uh, the noises it makes while it's under load. I'm open to. Um, uh, suggestions on what it might be. It might be something else. It might not be the valves. It, you know, maybe somebody out there knows um, maybe it's something else. Um, I sure as hell hope it's not the valves. I was hoping not to rebuild this engine or swap it. But uh, maybe maybe somebody else out there knows what it could be. To me, I believe that uh, the camshaft lobes are well worn out and uh, the carburetor is excessively worn as well. Starts very good too. Even when it's full. It's not bad, it'll stall sometimes, but it's, you can easily restart it.